All right, what's going on? Uh, what's going on right now? I'm not sure exactly what they'd be. I know that he's working on like some moonshine stuff, but uh, I don't know exactly. Are you interested in them too? Um, oh, auto vance. Um, what the rankings of like who's gonna have their heart stolen? Uh, not at all. You're not interested. Are you the type to go against the trend? Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Before I knew it, I'd turned into a bona fide villain. Still, yeah, poor guy. That if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. You should check out the list sometime. Well, well dang. More will make us late. See you later. Well, dang. Should interest him into bring Kao Liang if he wants to brew something Asian? I'm not even quite familiar with that myself. Maybe it's something he'd find intriguing though. Game sounds a bit low compared to your voice. I was looking back at the last stream and the game seemed loud, was the thing. Like, I could hear myself when I was looking back at the last stream. I Gosh dang it, I could hear the game, but it was, you know, it was kind of sketchy. It made it, it sounded like a little bit muffled with my voice. I want my voice to be clearly louder than the game. So I turned it down since the last stream. I can turn it back up, but when I was listening to the last stream, it sketched me out a little bit, and it felt like the game should be turned down a smidge, so that's what I did before this one. So I can turn it up, like, a bit, but I don't want to go too ham. I have it currently at negative 5.5 decibels. The way that it was before was negative 2. Um, so I turn it down by 3.5. It's at negative 4 now. I can turn it to, like, negative 3.5. Yeah, sure, negative 3.5. Something like that. You know, I can see over on OBS that, you know, my voice is clearly quite a bit louder than the game, which is kind of what I want to, uh, turn up the volume when you're in cinematics. Like, I suppose I, uh, I suppose I could, but I'd have to be constantly, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe not do, uh, let's maybe not go that ham. Um, but yeah, um, I technically could, but I'd have to, you know be adjusting it all the time on my little slider thing Bob. I've thought about getting a uh, audio mixer before, but I wouldn't really have the space for it. There's too much stuff around here. And I, now I have to find space for like a 3D printer. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. So yeah, there's that. So I realized that, you know, I've made it a decent bit quieter, but that was because it seemed too loud last time. I appreciate the 30 bits there, Anima. Look Where? who's ready to party. Why 3D printer? Because my cousin is apparently preparing it for me as like a Christmas present. Um, <laughs> is the uh is the thing there so apparently just waiting on some parts that he ordered to come in and finish putting it together is what it sounds like how are you doing today anima appreciate the third of bits there totally ready to party but yeah when i was like listening back to parts of last stream there were times where the music seemed to be around like the same vo volume as my voice and it's like oh that's not a that's not great is it those are the sticker right there's so much phantom thieves merchandise all of a sudden although if you ask me phantom thieves isn't a very cool name I don't know, I kind of like it. It's so mysterious. I think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart. I want to meet the Phantom Thieves. A bizarre clipping bug. Did you clip out of bounds or was it just like the camera? Because I have the camera clip out of bounds all the time. I mean, during <laughs> on Christmas Eve, okay, the, during see. the family gathering there, my little cousin was showing me a specific place that you can just clip out of bounds. Um, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet there. Um... Another bug in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? How unexpected! I refuse to believe it! School trips tomorrow, huh? I always got so excited the night before my trips. We leave tomorrow, right? It'll take six or seven hours to get to Hawaii, so it'll be morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Hawaii's time is 19 hours behind Japan's time zone. Which means you'll get there on the morning of the 7th. You're leaving that night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th, that might be quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can be can become distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for longer than a second? Say, Kusakun, what? Do you know the name of that phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stops moving? I've never heard of this before, actually. Uh, I don't know. If I had to take a guess by, like, the names available to me here, I would guess Chronostasis. That's what my guess would be. I'm gonna look at that website tab that I have pulled up. That's exactly it. That is exactly it. This is it. Right. Because, like, that makes sense for the combination of the terms, right? 
Chrono for time, stasis for stopped. Um, yeah, that's correct. You see. When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill that blank, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where this phenomenon comes from. Whoa, a moment in time? Like the entire plot of Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel like time has stopped. Well, we got it right. Is he really a criminal? <laughs> yeah, if he's smart, that means he can't be a criminal. Nice I'm so smart. Look at me go. Wow. Bam. Ah, but my time's up already. Well, all right, yeah. Want to hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. <sighs> You're going to Hawaii tomorrow, huh? Don't worry about the house. I'll... Well, me and Futaba can hold down the fort. Yeah, Futaba and the cat can bond. That'd be super cute. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Ah, uh, yeah. This time tomorrow, we're gonna be in Hawaii. I can't wait. Um, <laughs> you have your time wrong. Yeah, we'll still be in Japan at that point. Ryuji, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Enough of the chit chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. Got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in Los Angeles? Hollywood. It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip will prove quite stimulating. I don't hold a candle to Hawaii's beaches though. There are a multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. I don't think I've ever been to, like, a nice, nice beach in my life. Like, apart from when I was so young that I wouldn't remember. You know, exception to that. I was mentioning earlier this stream how I was... Blah, how I can't word say how I swam in the waters out of the coast of Capri. But, uh, you know, that was, uh, that was, like, that rocky shore. I haven't been to, like, an actual proper sandy beach beach maybe ever. Like my family has this cabin out by a out by a lake in this uh in this little village, but you know our shoreline, it's just like gunk most of the time. It's just like algae and stuff. Like there is some sand around there, but if you want to get into the water, you have to like step through a bunch of gross crap first. It's typically a thing. Usually, if you want to go into the water, we just like take the boat out, like take the boat on out into the water, and then just jump into the lake from the boat is what we do. But uh you know, playing right in the shores. Like, you can play in, like, the shallow water and do stuff there, and people do it all the time. But, like, enjoying time on the beach, per se? Yeah, that doesn't really happen. Some people make it a little bit more beach-like some summers by attaching... I don't know what it's called. It might be a harrow. It might be something else. Basically, like, this square thing that has, like, a bunch of spikes on the bottom. Attach that to the back of a quad, and then just pull it around, and it'll till, like, the whole area and, you know get it all evened out and stuff and make it a lot more pleasant. So when people are doing that with that little tool that we just kind of leave down by the lakefront, it does make it more beach-like and a bit more pleasant, but you know, it still gets it still gets pretty gunky, especially considering, you know, geese come around and fill it up with goose shit. Um, so, you know, it's I, I don't really know the experience of uh, having an actual nice beach. Um, huh? It's close to the ocean. Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle is somewhere. How about Hawaii? Dunno, some ocean, I guess. You're hopeless. How long are you all going to keep this up? Come on, can't you guys be more mature about this? Well, it's after school, wow. I know you guys are excited for the trip, but you're getting a little carried away. Yeah, maybe, maybe there. All right, so what's going on with the uh, the shot in Discord here? What is going on here in the Pokemon channel? Um, yeah, that's camera clipping, but definitely one of the weirder instances I've seen. You know, I have a lot of clips of camera clipping in my uh, in my clips folder of my own playthrough already. But yeah, that's definitely one of the weirder ones. So is this like up on a hill and that's like world below? I guess? Or is that just like a completely different area? Because it doesn't look like something that would naturally be down there. It it seems very strange. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Snipes. I'll respond to you after the stream's done. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's just see here. Because your grandparents have a terrain by the beach back at home, you would usually go to the beach and it was pretty clean. 
Waves wouldn't be too big though, and it was a cliff with sand. Water would really go up the cliff, so we'd have a lot of time during during the sand. Like, a lot of time to spend on the sands, you mean? Uh, it was pretty pleasant and family friendly since the waves weren't too big, but not good for surface. That sounds really pleasant and cool there. Like, one of the nicest beaches went to was Key West in Florida before the oil spill that happened back when you were younger. Would that have, like, really ruined it? It's It wouldn't still be ruined nowadays. When did that take place? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure when that uh, oil spill took place. I'm not quite familiar with it. But, you know, going to a Florida beach, that sounds pretty nice there. Finally enough, living in an island. You ever been to a beach here? And you're four years of living there, really. I mean, doesn't everyone technically live on an island? Just some are bigger than others? No, I know what you, I know what you mean there. Uh, climbing a mountain, the city is down there. Okay. But yeah, it's, uh, it's strange, isn't it? I think in terms of my clips that I have saved in my, like, Scarlet and Violet game footage folder, the strangest one is just, like, the world not existing behind me during a literal cutscene is one of the ones that I, uh, <laughs> is one of the ones that I have. It's like, really? Do they not test their cutscenes? All right, Maruki's not available right now. Um, so working one of our jobs for Intel or Big Bang Burger Challenge? Sure, how about Big Bang Burger Challenge? Um, so that's, yeah, Big Bang Burger. Let's do that because, wait. I'm gonna talk, we haven't identified. I might not actually be able to do it because I think I need to get my kindness up one more level and then I can do that one or am I losing my mind? I'll see if Morgana says that he thinks that I can do it, this next one. Otherwise, maybe I'll go work my job. That gives me that intel. When they say Arceus gives his weirdest glitches to his strongest trainers. <laughs> uh, new item, the Moon Burger. Um, Big Bang Challenge. Might be able to gain some if you do that. Think you can probably do it as you are now. Okay, so we good. So we have the one of like all stats at one. We did the one of all stats at two. And now this is going to be the one of all stats at three, right? Or maybe it's just like all my stats not including kindness. Or something like that. I don't know. But Morgana says that I can do it, so I can probably do it. If not, I saved. Certainly. Now yeah, then, go take a seat and good luck. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the Big Bang Challenge again. This is the final task before you can ascend to the rank of captain. Our store's behemoth burger stands in your way. A meal of, Levi of Leviathan proportions. <laughs> the Cosmic Tower Burger. Yep. Another average day in America. It's massive. I'm honestly at a loss for words. This burger is the ultimate embodiment of the limitless nature of space. The volume, the flavor, the calories. Every aspect of this burger is astronomical. If you can succeed at eating the entire thing, you'll be presented with an extraordinary gift. I wonder if anyone's ever actually finished it. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. Num. It's like most of the size of my torso. It looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cool. I don't think you have the luxury of enjoying the taste. Don't chew, just swallow. I somehow ate the whole thing. <laughs> You've done it again. Congratulations. My sincerest congratulations on completing the final challenge. Since you managed to topple the Cosmic Tower burger, I present to you... The highest ranked, the highest ranked certification available here. The champ, the captain badge. I can't words at all. And to the burger baron who defeated this challenge, I we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Just give me 10 of those to put in my pocket. Please come again. You are hereby promoted to the rank of captain. No more challenges await you. But please do the challenge again and show us how gallant you are. All of us here at Big Bang Burger sincerely await your return. Wow. <laughs> You'd be the cosmic tower. You were so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. All right, well, there was that. Well, suppose it was 2010 and still causing troubles to the environment now. Jeez. Nice. Your pace or strategy of using well timed drinks in just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. Wow. Oh, so we get like big buffs to our things for completing the final thing. So I guess there is no one after this, because if you have like things at rank five. You know, what use do you have for more social stats at that point? So final one is just like a big boost to a whole bunch of things. Oh, I maxed my charm! That means Makoto's friend is gonna like me. All right. All right, your charm has increased from charismatic to debonair. So the first social stat that we maxed out was charm. Neat. Neat, neat. We gotta work on that kindness, though. Come on, we should just head home. I'm full just from watching you. So yeah, I guess that was the one for having everything at four. 
but I guess kindness isn't a thing that you need for it. Everything else but kindness is what you need. Obtain awards, supersize my stomach. Oh uh, man, I remember watching that documentary in junior high school. Um, we'll be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba, we'll be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. I'll let us know if anything comes up, okay? Hey, okay. And off we go. Look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. You guys are still talking about that trip. <laughs> Surprised we didn't get the award arteries clogged. Yeah. That, or whatever type of other. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. List any other potential health concern here. Okay, so we can't go out while uh, leaving tomorrow for a school trip. Hurry up and go to sleep already. Hey, hey. If I were to. No, it's nothing. Hey, hey. The table? I can't do anything. No. Just go to sleep! Uh, well, time to, uh. Time to go ahead and do that. Alright. Hey. Uh, never mind. Have fun on your trip. Um, sleep. Nah, Morga, you're gonna have a chill time hanging out with Futaba, right? Alright, it's Wednesday. What a great day to go out to Hawaii, my dudes. You're taking off, huh? Yep. <laughs> Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. Oh, they even put in the sound effect for rolling the suitcase. Props, sound designers. Why do you seem kind of angry at me? I can't wait. Good. What, you really don't like being separated from me? Look, you're gonna have a great time with Futaba. I'm so sleepy. It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, six hours. Jump numbers compared to going across the entire ocean over to Italy. I guess they go over the ocean too, but a different one. And, you know, shorter trip. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah. I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? Um. Hmm. Maybe for you. See? I think that was sarcasm. Hey, guys. They want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Oh, sounds good. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too. You too, Makoto. <laughs> All right. Um, here goes. Easy thumbnail. Where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. If that's even one of the ones I can view in the gallery. Ryuji, you've got crap in your eyes. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? Is she listening in? You surprised? I snuck a nap on Harmonia's phone. I can see all I want through his camera. Oh, that's an invasion of privacy. <laughs> You're looking now, right, Harmonia? <laughs> can't under you can't underestimate the original midget. Glad she's not an enemy of ours. It's going over to the next day. Whoa, people like us more now that we're out of here? <laughs> Wait! Oh, it's a mask. May I have some iced coffee? Coming right up. I just saw it from a distance at first. So, how long will you be staying? 
You speak up. Find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> Well, we made it to the place. Yes, we're here. Hawaii. I am so embarrassed. Last time I was on a plane, I wasn't as enamored as they were with the uh with the surrounding landscape. Of course, I always think that's cool, but I'm not that amazed with it there since being on flights before and stuff like that. The main thing that I was focused on was discomfort with like how little leg room I had cuz I'm tall. I'm like 6'2". You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not easy being tall, I tell you, when you're stuck in cramped spaces like that. But I guess none of them had to worry about that. Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the for the lays. here. What are you, the king of random facts? I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then, uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. You belong to a different class, Sakamoto kun. I can't. It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? Um, you know, that's fine. It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. I am intrigued by Mishima's character. You know, as I mentioned before. Tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought Anne was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. <laughs> then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies stop. are massive, unlike the girls in Japan. Chill. Again, I could bring up the exact same conversation that we had earlier during the uh, <laughs> Peach episode, but uh, you know, I've already got all my full thoughts on that thing. Man, they're not my type. You like him slim, huh? Moving on. Take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? A F? Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. 
Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. It Wait, works. where did you even have your phone? In Japan, if we got our phones, it's like ugh, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? Uh, hula dancing? Uh, -uh I ain't down for that. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. <laughs> he can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way. You know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? Um, I don't know. I hadn't heard. <laughs> Maybe I should have said fan site. Even though it's been so lively, I'm the one who made the website. But even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves, the good-looking one? His popularity As opposed to the bad-looking one. Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know. But, then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired, too. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Good night. <laughs> 